First Alert Forecast, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Here we are with meteorologist Dustin Bonk, and boy, Dustin, what a gorgeous weekend we had. It certainly feels like we're getting into the heat of summer here. Very summery weekend. A yeah. lot of 80s for temperatures, a lot of sunshine. Mm -hmm. uh, no complaints for, of course, the holiday weekend. <laughs> Talk about perfect weather, no yeah. rain, but... It's been really kind of interesting because it's been cloud free for most of it, right. but it's been kind of hazy. So it's not yeah. like perfectly sunny weather. And a lot of people might have noticed the moon and the sun have been feeling or seeing uh, very red uh, colors. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. They've been appearing very red. So we got a lot of good weather photos here for you. This one comes from, uh, uh, from Nancy over in Meridian Township. Beautiful orangish shade to the moon here. This is actually higher in the sky. We often see an orange or red moon low to the horizon, but this is much higher. This is the sunset tonight over downtown Lansing. I mean, notice will be red and hazy and kind of dim for it. This one comes from Jason over in downtown Lansing. Now, our next photo here. Have a look. Yeah, beautiful. This one's one of my favorites. I love it. You don't see the actual sun here, but the tint is orange all across the sky. This one comes from Bobby's Lake over in Hillsdale from Victoria. Finally, one more photo for me. This one's from Greenville, Michigan from Charles and he has a very good quality camera obviously he zoomed in pretty close here but you can see the sunspots it's been so good and he had no sun filter according to the photographer the actual smoke in the air has caused uh, just a natural filter for you. The reason is it's been wildfire smoke from uh, western U.S. and Canada filtering into the Great Lakes just giving us these nice distorted colors. Thankfully it's going to be clearing up though. Uh, I think we'll see more perfect sunshine I hope by tomorrow. Maybe still a little bit of the haze lingers. That's something that's kind of hard to predict. There's a lot of smoke from these large wildfires out west. What we're seeing overhead in our satellite imagery is just a few thin clouds. Certainly no rain. Local radar has really been quite clear most of our entire weekend. Temperature now still hovering around the 60s for some folks, but mid 70s in Lansing, 65 in Mason. It's a uh cooling down slowly but surely. Now as we zoom out around the nation, we've got a big plume of warm air. Notice the red color and notice the yellow color. That's the cooler temperatures. There's your cold front coming on in, but we're going to be dealing with the very nice warm temperatures. Well, very warm temperatures, I would say, for tomorrow until the cooler air arrives on Tuesday. A look around the nation. There's your cold front. Very visible. You've got this line of rain and thunderstorms, some of which has been severe, I think, over the Dakotas and maybe now in Minnesota, but we're not going to face a severe weather threat from this. More likely just some scattered rain and thunderstorms into Tuesday. Until then, tomorrow, sunny Monday and warm and humid Monday, that's for sure. Storms on Tuesday, though, that's something we got to worry about a little bit for Tuesday morning. Clearing later on, so common ground forecast should not be a major impact, except for maybe some uh, muddy lawns and from the daytime, that kind of thing. In our future track, here we go. Here's our situation. Clear skies tonight, except for, you know, maybe a few thin clouds from time to time. But high pressure's finally moving out of here, and we got this strong southwesterly flow going to bring in more water. Warm air tomorrow and more humid air as well, all ahead of this next system. Now, tomorrow in the afternoon should be very nice and sunny, much like it has been the last few days. It's not until Monday night, probably after midnight, we see increasing clouds and a next chance for rain and thunderstorms. Again, not likely to be severe here. Just given the timing, it shouldn't be a major concern. Just scattered rain, few thunderstorms clearing up by early afternoon Tuesday. Once it clears up and the cold front passes, well, for one thing, it'll be a little bit cooler, but a lot drier too for Tuesday evening. At the start of common ground, weather should be pretty good. Let's talk temperatures. It got up to 83 in Lansing today, 84 Ionia. Everywhere got up to at least 80, several degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Now tonight, dropping down further, I would say about 60 for overnight lows. Could see a couple upper 50s, but mainly like 60 to 62 degrees for a range. Tomorrow, though, upper 80s, 90 degrees, it's possible. I'm saying about 88 degrees for your high tomorrow, but I wouldn't be surprised if one or two spots reach 90. Now it will be humid, so tomorrow's uh, heat indices will feel a little bit higher, just a very hot day for us. We haven't been that warm in a little while. Meanwhile, uh, tomorrow night down only into the 60s for overnight lows. And then look at this, here's Tuesday high temperatures, probably like 70s west behind the front, low 80s east ahead of the front. Gonna be one of those days. We see a bit of a range of temperatures on Tuesday, and then it stays cooler or mid 70s uh, ahead of it uh, in the week ahead, but then it warms up in the long run towards next weekend. 60 year low for tonight, a clear and calm night again. <laughs> We've seen quite a few of those lately. 88 year high for tomorrow, mostly sunny, warm and humid. 
In the seven day, watch out for rain and thunderstorms to start out your Tuesday morning, but most of Tuesday in the afternoon and evening will be dry and rain free. 70s in the middle of the week and then more warm, very warm temperatures looking pretty likely towards next weekend. Hopefully that smoke though clears out here. It's been making for some very picturesque scenes, but uh, <laughs> kind of hazy out there. I even smell the smoke sometimes. Yeah, I was wondering if it was the fireworks or if it was the haze, but uh, kind of hard to tell, I guess, given the weekend that it arrived, but a little bit of everything. Good and bad with everything. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Dustin. Thank you.